Okay. Let's talk to Kelly. Bet she'll comment on the, the geth. <laughs> Come on, someone's gotta mention it. We have a geth down in the AI core. It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him. But you would know best. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. <laughs> anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Let's... Yeah, it's brilliant. Putting the geth in the AI core. <laughs> hmm. I suppose, I suppose we can assume that uh, it is the securest, the safest uh, point on the ship. Because it's where Edie is. Where the defense is the strongest. That, that's why I'm guessing is the rationale behind it. Um, okay. I guess we'll check in with Jack and Zaid, then we'll go to the third deck and see what we can do with everyone else and uh, play around with the Geth. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. That's all for now. <laughs> Logging you out, Shepard. Back for more. Trying to remember. What was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist. Hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. <laughs> nice ship you got here. Roomy. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. Grunt is fine. Sure, Gary and Ken are chatting about something. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> okay, Jack. How are you today? Hey, tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. If I take you too seriously, I might need to deal with you. Try it. Anyway, relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place. Right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? <laughs> Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. Hey, you did me a favor helping with that base, but don't lecture me. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. <laughs> you really liked that moon. <laughs> Illuminating. That's about all I can take for now. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. Okay. Good to know that she is a uh, sane, inverted comma, self. Nobody's replaced Jack with a quieter, less psychotic model. And to the next level. Does Fane have something to say to us? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking about you. And I, you. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? Lately, it feels like all our discussions are confessions. I've been introspective since I came aboard. 
That needs to change. When I married Yurika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family. But I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Yurika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. We got a long way to go before you can rest. I know. I'm prepared for whatever comes. Okay. Nice to know he's mentally prepared as well. Seems that everyone is getting into gear. There you are. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. <laughs> I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. <laughs> okay. Samara. I'm pretty sure Miranda and Garrus have both tapped out for conversations, so... Shepard, anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Our lives are secondary to completing the mission. Agreed. Hmm. Wanted to ask about our adventures. Went away though. Guess we'll do that next Actually, time. Yeah. Of course. That's a shame. Unless she was going to say, well, I can't tell you about my adventures. I can't quite recall how that conversation goes. Anyway, this is the main reason we're out and about. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Huh. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Every geth I met before you tried to blow my head off? We have not met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other geth. We are all geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human. Fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper. 
a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. <laughs> I fight Geth. You do anything hostile, I blow you to pieces. Just so we're clear. We have no hostility towards you. Sure didn't seem that way at Eden Prime in the Citadel. You fought heretics, not true Geth. Geth build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. <laughs> so you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. You want to follow my orders? Say so. Clearly. Otherwise, I'll rip your batteries out right now. We will follow your orders. Good. <laughs> now what do I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. I didn't ask your opinion, Edie. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. <laughs> we anticipate the exchange of data. Yeah, we're being quite harshly spoken here. Of course, we want to make it clear who's in charge. Plus, we're a bit suspicious. I mean, you can't not be. But, yeah. Legion. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Hmm. Some of the Gath followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Hmm. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. 
human hardware does not support this method. <laughs> Your analog oral communication is inefficient. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Mm, okay, we can put them down if worst comes to worst. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. To prototypes. Geth sniper rifle. Legion gets a widow anti-material rifle. Yes, that would be very helpful for him. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. <laughs> I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Yeah, AIs in general. We had a. What's this area of the oh, we Let's know. For now. Yeah. Logging you out. AIs in general. We had a traumatic experience as a child with Clippy. He wouldn't. He wouldn't stop uh, asking if he could help us, and that's affected our perception of them ever since. As Annoying pop-ups who don't know when to quit trying to help you. But Legion, interesting, very interesting. Let's take this heavy skin weave. Apply it. That'll be all. I'll be here okay. if you Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Unread. Crypt transmission. Lucid man. About the Reaper IFF. Notified about the intact GEF and your decision to keep it. Okay, approves of activating it. We've already cast a wide net in your recruiting efforts, and if the GEF are willing to fight the collectors, then we can use them on the team. Okay. So, you look at our team status. You now have a full squad, of which only 8 out of the 12 are loyal. So we'll have to work on rectifying that before the Reaper IFF is ready. So I hope you've enjoyed watching us bumble about on the side missions, getting some tech and charging into interdimensional anomalies and getting killed, as well as picking up a very unusual new squad mate. And next time we'll be trying to win Tally's loyalty and generally making last minute preparations before the final mission of the storyline. So, see you then.